Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. We got quite a few requests for this one. It's, how can I love the sound of my voice? A lot of people write in and they say, you know, I record myself and I listen back and I hate it. Is that really what I sound like? Well, unfortunately, yes, it is. In fact, it's the way to get better. So uh, I'd like to share my own personal testimony with you guys, and hopefully if you can relate to this and resonate with it, uh, it might make some sense to you. So uh, when I first started out singing, my first instrument was guitar. So I'm a very accomplished guitar player, and you know, singing was, you know, the only reason I wanted to learn how to sing was to get me between guitar solos and eventually not have to put up with the singer so I could, you know, do it myself and not have to depend on that guy. But um, anyway, early on, I would record myself and I'd listen back and go, oh gosh, is that what I really sound like? Well, unfortunately, it really was. And of course, like we all do, we all have influences. So I would try to emulate some of my favorite singers at the time, whether it was Lou Graham from Foreigner or Paul Rogers from Bad Company, um, you know, David Coverdale from Whitesnake or um, other other bands like, or in fact, he wasn't in Whitesnake at the time, he was in Deep Purple when I first started. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, Robert Plant was another one, big, big time for me early on. And so I try to emulate their sound and I would listen back and go, okay, how can I get this, my voice to sound like their voice? Now, we don't want to sound like anyone. I get that. Come on, guys. But we all have influences, and it's those influences that we have that increases our palate uh, to give us a lot of different styles and, and ways to um, grow our voice. So, um, so with that said, so we, we can set the bar high by saying, well, this person has set the bar really high. How can I achieve this level of success? And then, you know, represent that uh, with our own voice. So anyway, with that said, so I, I try to, let's say Robert Plant, I'd sing, you know, I don't know, Stairway to Heaven or whatever it was. And I m fell miserably short miserably short. I hated the sound of my voice. It was bloody awful. I, f I felt like I was gagging on my vowels and choking on them. I felt like there was cotton in my throat and I couldn't get good tone. I couldn't get good pitch. I was just struggling, you know, straight up. Well, what I learned was is that I could try to identify some things that I did love about my voice. So let's say I, I, I did like the first verse of a Led Zeppelin song. And by the way, I would try to do these things well within my range. I wouldn't try to grab things way out of my range. Otherwise, it would sound like I was throwing a cat through a hula hoop or something. You know, like real thin, scratchy, squealy, brassy, you know, sort of sound. So I would do things that were within my range and I would try to get my pitch together first because that's really annoying. And then what I would do is I would listen to, is there anything about my voice that I liked? And eventually I, I could honestly answer, yeah, I mean, some things I could put up with, you know? So I, I, I go, okay, well, I can put up with the first line in whatever song it was, and then I work on it over and over and over. I'd re-record it, listen back, work on it. That's why I said it's really important to record it and listen back. And then I'd go, well, okay, that's, you know, it doesn't suck, it's not great. But, and then I would go to the chorus and, you know, whatever. Now, you would actually have to piece these things together as you get better. You would start with a verse, just do it over and over again till you like it. Don't try to make it through the whole song, just do the verse. Then the verse and the chorus. Verse, chorus, next verse. Verse, chorus, next verse, chorus. Like, you work this stuff up. Well, what I found was, as I began to study the voice, that we could build vowel sounds that are all open with really good tone. Look at my video called The Five Laws of Singing. I talk about open throat technique and the bright ping that actually grows the tone uh, for our voice. So, um, and, and as I did this, I, I was able to, uh, you know, get to where I were like, I wasn't embarrassed about my sound. I, it wasn't awesome but I wasn't embarrassed about it either. And I could see the progression of this and I could see the forest from the trees and I could see the light at the end of the tunnel and thank God it wasn't a train heading my way. Um, and so I, I started to progress and this actually spawned the beginning of how I learned to sing and, and wanting to learn more and more and more about the voice. So it started there, wanting to emulate my, my favorite artist, recording myself, listening back, finding nuances that I liked about my voice, picking things well within my range, and then migrating little by little. Now, let's talk about picking things well within your range. Um, because most people say, I wanna sound like you know, Bruno Mars, or I wanna sound like you know, Jared Leto, or like whoever the, your, your favorite singer is. And, and the bar is set so high that you say to yourself, I can never achieve that. Guess what? You can't. Not that way. You have to do this step by step by step. I cover all of this in my singing course called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else, please feel free to check it out. Also, I have a singer's forums with over 12,000 members in there now. You can join it for free at Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. Uh, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Um, but in the end, 
We do this stuff incrementally and we learn in doses in small stages. And as we learn to get better and better at it and evaluate ourselves, we can grow responsibly and reasonably with reasonable expectations rather than throwing the baby out with the bathwater and saying, it all sucks, I suck, I can never achieve this. It's just not true. You absolutely can. Okay? Thank you for joining me, Ken Tampley Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. Peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get notified when I have a new cool video come out, you need to go to my channel and click on this little bell icon and it will actually notify you every time I have a video come out. Thanks guys.